Just bear with me for two seconds. I'm getting through all the glitches of this thing. Do I do love a Zoom. <laughs> By the looks of it, it's just me and you at the moment, which is fine. Um, definitely get some music on because I can't play music through this device because it just goes over my voice. So you'll definitely want to get your tunes going, whatever motivates you. Um, grab some equipment. You'll just need something you can lift. So dumbbells, mats, things like that. Um, yeah, we'll go through it and I will just, it's being recorded as well for future use. So I'll just go through it like we normally do. It's very weird being here in a very empty Hollyburn fitness studio. I tell you, <laughs> it is bizarre. It's ghost town around here. So anyway, right, I'll get set up and then we'll get going. Okay, so welcome to that Christmas Eve fitness. It is gonna be all go. It was your last one before you stuff the turkey down your throat. And it's one we're just gonna burn, burn, burn. Just bear with me and bear with the, uh, bear with how we're gonna go through this. Again, we're going back to Zoom as we were before. We've done this many, many times. Take your time. If you need to get a drink of water, grab a drink of water. If you need to alter the move, Change the mover. As long as you're moving safely and securely within the body, that is perfect. I don't mind what you do. The whole idea is I instruct, I'm trying to push. I'll be doing everything as well. It's going to be a bit, a bit like a hit style training. I can't put music on, so I can't do anything rhythmic, but we can do it to the clock. So it'll be breakdowns of 30 seconds, a minute. There'll be multiple moves within this. Um, as we go through the moves, like I said, just make those adjustments, not a problem. If you have anything back, you can, if you want to do this again and want to see this back, you can go to the Hollyburn website. It's being recorded all the time. Even all my, uh, if I make any mistakes or fumbles and things, you, oh, you'll have, a, you'll have the time of your life uh, making sure that I get that gets rubbed into my face. So to start off with, you're just going to lightly jog on the spot. We are just going to warm up. Knowing what it was like to do home training, you're probably going to want the ventilation cooler. You're probably going to want a window or a door on it. I know it's chilly outside, but last time I did the home training, the first thing that hit me was the heat. So just make sure you're in that nice big space. Job on that spot. This is the fast reaction to uh, when the pandemic shuts things down again. Job on the spot, nice and lightly. So I to move around. Okay, you're gonna bring those heels to the bottom. You're gonna lift them up in your own time, remember. So you can either do wide V heels, or you can go on the spot and go to B. As you know, I know everybody well enough by now. I'll normally go to the extreme, the very springy version, but I will break this down as well. We're just trying to get all the joints moving, getting everything flowing. So, when we come to the bigger moves, we're all ready for it, and we're not going to be injured during Christmas. So, like I said, either V's or quick. Up to you. I'm going to go to some V's right now. So, heels to bum, hands behind the back, strong in the chest. Good, nice and smooth, nice and wide with the feet. Heel comes right up in a nice rhythm. You're then going to lift a knee and go wide on the knee, knee up, comes in towards, hands nice and solid, knee towards the elbow. It sounds very echoing here, you're probably picking that up as well, this is what happens when there's nobody in a class. It's just bringing that elbow to knee, high knee up. Bring the knee centre, either single knee, nice big walking arms, or you can get into your on the spot high knees, up to you. And we go to your knees for now. Good, 
Really now try to bring the elbow over and bring the knee to elbow, center, keeping that same rhythm. If you want to lift the hands in the center, you can lift the hands up and down in the center. You're going to start to feel warm immediately. The idea of this is multifunctional movement, gets the blood pumping, the heat going, and that's only to protect those muscles and joints. We're trying to tell that body that we're going to get into something and get ready for it. Just knees on their own, high. You're going to bring them up higher than normal on the toe. Just march it out. You're focusing on those hips. You want trying to get the range of motion in the hips. Knowing a lot of us, especially myself as well, you sit for a long time, the hips just stiffen up. So we're just trying to wake them up, get the muscles lengthened. Okay, you are going to plant this, what seems to be probably your right or left leg. I don't know how the camera flips. You're going to go over to one side. Big side lunge, over. So nice big side lunge. Really stretching out that inner thigh, sitting into it. Again, remember I'm going more around about my pace, which I feel quite comfortable with. If you want to go a little quicker, you can. If you want to slow it down, please do so. Remember, this is warm up. We're not pushing that hard yet. So nice big step wide. Okay, on the same leg, you are then going to go lift wide. So side leg lift, keep the foot parallel with the floor, body up nice and straight. If you have your camera pointing at you, this acts as your mirror. So when you have the camera pointing, you can see exactly where you stand. It is your mirror to work against. So try not to lean over. You're trying to get that pinch in the hip, opening up the groin. Three, two, one, switching over to the other leg. Other leg, wide lunge start. Already it should feel a bit looser. You get a bit deeper into this. Nice big side lunge. Again, at your own pace. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That side leg lift. Get it lifted, put parallel with the floor, outside the thigh working, pulling it up. A nice rhythm. Focus on that breathing now. Focus on that form. Hopefully you've got some good tunes going on in the background that'll keep you going, keep that rhythm going. If you need some music suggestions or would like some Spotify links, I'll give you my email address at the end and I can send you my class music. Send you the link to it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, square on the feet, slight bend in the knee, punching forward. So you are extending those arms, turning the hands over, and find a nice rhythm. What we're trying to do is work, warm up those shoulder blades, warm up those arms, get the blood pumping through through the hands. You'll be doing a lot of gripping with weight. It might be awkward weight if you're trying to scramble around to find anything. So I suggest things like those, uh, Reusable bags filled with books. Great ones for using as a weight. If you haven't got anything at home, punch, punch away. Come on, keep punching. Try and pick up the pace a little again. Get that full extension of arm, solid. 
If you want to go to full boxing stance, you're going to bring one foot forward, one foot back. It's not directly behind, it's just out to the side slightly with that to get you grounded. You'll find that a lot, a lot more stable. Punch, 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 punch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Square feet, bring in the hook. Now this is not necessarily a boxing technique, but what we're doing is opening up the side of the body, bringing that arm round, bringing it round, over, over, over. If you want to bring in a toe tap with that, bring in a toe tap. If you're doing this to music, you can go to the rhythm. Over, over, over. A lot of these moves we're doing today, if you're a regular to the class, you've done these already many, many times. So you know what you like, and how to do them, and what suits you. So over, 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 over. Eight, seven, one and a Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to those feet steps. Let's go. V step. The heels above, or like I said. Double time it. Bring the feet together. You're double timing it. Those heels are coming up onto the toe. Hands on at the back. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to wait the squat. So, when you sit into this, your feet are slightly wider than shoulders. Sitting, feet pointing in the same direction as where the kneecaps go. The knees point slightly out, line the feet up. Don't force them straight. When you sit down into this, your shoulders, knees, and toes are going to be in one line. So one, two, three, one line. Going too far forward, you're bending over too much. Too far back, you're putting too much strain on the lower back. Again, all in your own time. If you're feeling down, you're not feeling fantastic today, you can speed it up. Just making sure you get a full range of motion. Want to bring in the arms, you're then going to lift. So arms go in front on the way down, up, lift it. Stretch out that body. You may as well use everything we've got. Hmm. Sit into it a bit deeper. Okay, you are now going one to the left, one to the right. So as you turn, you're gonna bring the hand more predominantly over to one side. Feel the twist through the body. Through the twist, feel the twist through the core, over your gun. You're going to do a slight lean back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, keep the squats going. Let's go, just solo squats. This time, alternate side leg lift. Squat lift. Do you want to crunch it? Crunch it. Good. Keep working through this. This is when things are going to start pushing you a little more. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done on the squat job. Good work. Again, either jog or march. Down to you. I always go to the extreme. Don't want to go to the extreme, but it just seems to happen. You always go to the extreme, and you want to just tone it down, that is fine. Okay, side, side to side, two taps, a light ice here. 
So you're bringing that foot over, you're jumping side to side. Slow it down wider. So that big step, it's not necessarily a jump, it's a big step. Going to a slight squat, strong in the chest. Again, want to pick it up a bit more. You're going to place one foot behind the back. Go into your full ice skater. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We'll be coming back to these. Spotty dog with the legs. So, legs forward and back. Once and wide. Get that leap. Arms in front. Go. So that nice big, wide, pop. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squats, basic, again. This time take the feet a little wider than normal. Different muscle group. Feet wider than normal. Up and down. Let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, down and hold, go. Hold, pulse, pulse. So either come halfway up, down, halfway down, halfway down. And just pulse it, small. Get the fatigue in those legs. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one standing, back into your quick punches. Let's go, either boxing stance or square on stance. Tighten the core, punch, go, go. This is where you're gonna push a bit harder. You are warm now, we are through the warm up stage. We are now getting into this workout. Still cardio hard, get that blood pumping, heavy on the lungs. Nice, 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 nice. Nice and square, nice and solid. Core tight. Airway open. Come on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Squats one more time. Side leg left. Let's go. Down left. Down left. Get the crunch, go. Crunch it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, jump on the spotlight. Okay, so to give you some moves. We're gonna do about three to five moves. Each one will be between 30 seconds to a minute. Depending on how tough they are, we're going three times around. So the first one is a get to know you. Second one is a let's get on with it. Third one is a see you later. Everything you've got. Okay, so first one will be back to our squats because we're nice and warm but not with weight. So it's one minute of squat. You can advance this if you like with the shoulder presses. You know what to do to advance it. Don't hang around for me and don't wait, don't go and write every word about advancing it. You're all experienced in this. 
Okay, so we squats to start. Bicep curl shoulder presses. Side leg lunges. Either side. And then mountain climber for a 30 second hit at the end. So each one of those, going through that three times, very leg heavy on this first set, but we will eventually make our way down to the mat and then into some core work and some stretch work. Okay, so let's get going. So I have my trusty clock ready to go. You're going to get a grab weight. Don't care what it is. This it can be anything, anything you can hold that keeps your form. If it's going to be something that's going to break your form, don't use it. So a heavy book can go across the chest. Don't care. Tin of beans, jug of milk, whatever it is. Something that is safe in the environment. I'm lucky because I'm at the studio and can use some weights. If you have weights, fantastic. Use them and use them well. Ready? Here we go. Squats. Three, two, one, one minute. Go. I'm going all the way with you guys. So just focus on your form. Again, like I said, shoulders, knees, and toes in line. The advanced moves are going to be squats and lifts. That is the advanced move. Regular move is just squats. Your pace, remember. Your pace. Don't try and keep up with me if it's too quick. Speed is not always the answer to getting the most out of these. I want the full range of motion. You have 30 seconds to go here before we go into bicep curl shoulder presses. Nice big breaths. You'll hear me getting more and more breathless as this video goes on. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Feet together, strong in the chest. Elbows away, curl and press, straight into it. No hanging around. I'm not giving you rest breaks. You will get that break at the end of the set, not in between the moves. So curl and press again. Wide with the hands. Drive them up in your own rhythm and pace. Next one after this is side leg lunge. We've just done them in warm up. Again, there's an advanced move and a regular move. Twenty seconds. Come on, keep going through them. Nice and controlled. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand to one side, side leg lunge, basic. This is the basic. If you're fine here, stay here. If you want to advance it, throw in that shoulder press. Really want to advance it, shoulder press high knee. Let's go, come on. Like I said, basic. More advanced. Very advanced. Remember that breathing. I have to remind myself as well. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Change the legs. Straight into it. Start with basic before you advance it. Legs get used to it. Changing that direction. And then you bring in the advanced. Or the very advanced. Keep going. This is basic, remember. Or advanced. Or very advanced. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
threes, two, one, mountain climber, either on the weight or hands on the mat. Mountain climbers is this. Either single knee or rhythmic. Off you go, come on. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Well done. Okay, slowly up to standing. Keep moving. Either side step, keep moving. Shake out the arms. We're going again. Second time round. Same moves. Grab a drink of water if you need it. Remember, we're advancing on this by either upping the weight, upping the speed, or deepening the technique. So, speed is one, but do not make sure you're not going shallow on the squat. As soon as you're going shallow, you're at your limit. There's no big benefit, there's no more benefit to it. I want, I'd rather on the range of motion rather than the speed. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Get the weight into those squats. Like I said, basic, without weight, advanced, with weight, more advanced, squat and lift. Down to you where you want to go. Drive and through. Thirty seconds left. You want to up it? Push it. Come on. Just because I can't see you does not mean I know how you're getting out of this right now. You're going to push forward and push harder. This is how you make some mentally stronger. Get through things. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One bicep curl shoulder presses. Go. So basic curl press. More advanced, a little quicker, same range of motion. Very advanced, wider arms, twisting those weights around. Follow the extension of those arms, get the curls. Remember that deep breathing, you know what's coming next. Side lunges, each side one minute, and then that mountain climber again. So this is an opportunity to get those breaths in, feed the legs, get them recovered. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one, side leg lunge, basic, stepping. You go, more advanced, get the lift. Very advanced, get the knee. Do not bend over here, keep the chest strong and up. 25 seconds to go. So do not fall into that leg. We're going straight out the side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs, off you go. Basic. More advanced. Very advanced. Ooh, big breaths, good. Thirty seconds. Remember, basic. More advanced. 
Very fast. Let's throw those weights down in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, mountain climber. 30 seconds. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more time to go. We're going round this again. Get up. Breathe. Keep moving. Get that water. Towel down. Get that breath. As you can tell, it's getting me now, which is perfect. Ready for my Christmas, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day dinner. Just jogging on the spot. We're trying to keep the blood going. When you fully stop, the heart rate's going to come down too quick. We're trying to keep it at a certain level. So it's not so much of a shock to the system when you get back into the workout. Most instructors, most of the time, will always try and keep you moving. They will not just let you stop for one, two, three minutes, let you do your thing. It's not sick rules because they want to keep that heart going, but it's also for sick rules. Ready to go again? 10 seconds to go. So get that equipment, get it ready to go for those squats. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Squats. Again. Remember, basic, without weight. More advanced, with weight. Keeping that form I discussed earlier, shoulders and knees and toes in line, sitting into it. Very advanced, lift it, throw it up. Remember, third one the time around these moves, so you can really push through this. I'm expecting your effort level to be eight to nines out of 10. You will get a breather whilst moving when I give you the explanation to the next moves. Come on. Yeah. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Feet together. Bicep curl, shoulder press. Let's go. In your own pace and time. Good. You've got it. Straight in. Get focused. Full extension. Up, full extension, down. No half weight. Ready for that side lunge with that stage one, two, or three in advance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Drop and roll. Basic side lunge to start. More advanced. Press. Press. Very advanced. Knee, go. If you really want to go bananas, knee hop. Knee hop. I will not be doing many more of those. They are exhausted. That's for all the crazies out there that can do those for a long time. Fifteen seconds this side. Then we're switching. Three, two, one. 
Switch sides, go. Face it to start. More advanced. Lift. Very advanced. Tiny. Insane. Lift. Drive through that foot, come on, keep going. You've got it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, thirty seconds for another time. Go. Solid. Get a nice rhythm. Airway open. Deep breaths. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Breathe. Well done. Excellent work. You are now going to get that water. Go get that towel. Keep moving. Don't stop, you'll get cold, heart rate goes too low, and I don't want that to happen because we're going to go into a, another set of movements. Possibly a bit shorter this time, 30 seconds is it, maybe a minute, see how I feel, see how you feel. Okay, first one. You are going into your reverse lunges. So with weight, big step back, center, big step back, drop the knee. So when the leg goes back, Drop that knee, back up, strong in the chest, with or without weight. I will show you how to advance that move if you want to. So we're doing both legs, one minute per leg. Then we're going to 30 seconds switching again with that rear leg tap. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side. Then we're gonna hit the mat, basic crunch for a minute. So either feet in the air or hands on the knees, basic crunch for one minute. We're gonna go there, I may add on some more. And how everything's going down. So, ready to go, reverse lunges in four, three, two, one, go. Big step back, drop the knee. This is basic. So I'd rather you focus on this before you start throwing in anything else. If you want to throw in something else, we're gonna go back, drop the knee, push up. Back, drop the knee, push up. So nice and tall, more shoulder work. It's amazing how much shoulders we have already done. Your own pace, remember the last set, tons of shoulders. You think it's all legs, it's not. It is upper body as well. We're trying to throw it all into one bag. Big step back, tall, good. Tall, tall. We've got 15 more seconds. If you're doing alternates like I am, you're gonna keep going. For another minute, if you're doing single leg, you're gonna keep it, you're gonna switch the legs. Just realize I'm doing alternative, it's automatic. So second minute in, switch the legs if you're doing single leg, keep going if you're doing double legs. Alternate. Drop that knee, keep it smooth, keep the rhythm nice and tidy. If you've got music, go for it. Go through the rhythm of the music. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 30 seconds, back leg, go. Side to side, we all love this one while we're in the class. I already see the smiles on your faces. Do not get out of it. I know you're all capable. It's a side to side with that back leg. 
Half curtsy, not full curtsy. Weights on the chest, strong and upright. We got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Change the legs, go immediately into it. One foot forward, one foot back. And side to side, go. If you wanna go quicker, go quicker. If you like your rhythm, keep your rhythm. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trust extensions. Let's throw this one in. This is always a good one to go into. Cat between the chin and the chest. Both hands together. Feet together. Tall. Throw the weights away. Elbows stays in the same position. Weights come behind. Throw them up. Lock them out. Throw them up. Lock them out. You can see how slow I'm going. You do not need to be quick. You don't have to be quick to make this work. You have another 30 seconds here. Keep that grip nice and tight. Elbows in that same position, airway open. Good breathing rhythm. 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hit the mat. Basic crunches, little down weights. So, feet can go in the air, just keep it basic. We can have the feet down, hands on the knees, getting the palms of the hands over the knee, looking up towards the ceiling. Do not crunch in that shoe. I want you to keep looking up. I want those hands going over the knees or toward those toes. It's your point of focus. Just basic crunch. Not looking for anything fancy. The basics are sometimes the most difficult. I am not a fan at all because I find these uncomfortable. So that, that's the reason we have to do that. Accountability to make yourself accountable. Keep moving. Come on. You have 15 seconds here. And then we're going into alternate hands, alternate foot for 30 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands above the head, legs out straight, alternate, crunch. You have the lift from your chest as well. I do not want to see this when the head is sticking to the floor. I want to see it when the crunch is being activated. And you're going to the opposites. You have 15 seconds left. Then we're starting again. From the beginning. Four, three, two, one. Well done, breathe. Take a moment to get up. If you're getting dizzy, take longer. That's just a blood pressure thing. That is just you trying to get up. So take your time, roll over. Make sure you're secure and you get up. Roll it onto your knees first, foot out, standing. Ready for those reverse lunges. We're going in 10 seconds. So again, we'll turn for two minutes, or one leg for one minute, and the other leg for another minute. Three, two, one. I'm going to go one leg this time. And I'm going to advance this a little more. So, this is basic. Stepping back, dropping that knee, bringing it up. Your rhythm, your time. Want to advance it? You're going to go into that press. Want to really advance it? You're going to bring through that knee. High knee, push. High knee. High knee. You see the flow of my weight with my knee? Bear in motion together. It's like there's a piece of string pulling that knee up. You should be able to see yourself in the camera or in the mirror. To make sure you're doing this right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch legs. If you're doing alternate legs, keep going. Doing single leg, basic. We 
We can advance it a little more now. Knee. Knee. With weight. Go. Go. Just bring the weights to chest. Don't bring them lower than the chest. Otherwise, you have to put more work into it to get them up. Straight back. Up we go. Good, come on. 15 seconds. Get this into those tricep extensions. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Throw them up. Gap between the chin and the chest. Elbows in the same position. Smooth. All the way back, all the way up. You've got this, this is the big off. The isolation for the ones that hurt. 30 seconds to go. Come on, you've got this. Go. Go. Fifteen seconds. Drive through that pain. Five, four, three, two, one on the mat. Basic crunches. Let's go. With or without weight, up to you. If you're doing it with weight, then you're going to brace the weight towards the toes and crunch against it. Do not bring it in front of you. It helps you too much. We're going up with the weight, not in front. Again, the basic crunch is feet down. If you still want to do some weights, weight still goes up. The real basics is palms over the knees. If you have lower back problems or building up your stability and falling in, this is where to start. Do not go too advanced too quickly. We have to build this. 15 seconds to go. Nearly there, guys. You're working very hard, very well. We have one more set of these to go, and it'll nearly be your call down time. We're going to throw some Christmas surprises for you. Three, two, one. Alternate hands. Alternate foot. 30 seconds. Your pace. Get the center crunch. It's called suitcasing. So you're folding up like a suitcase. Keep going. You can see I'm suffering a lot on this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, get a breath. Third time around. Big one. This is the one you can really push on. I'll show you how to go fast. We're used to the move. Now we're moving again. To get up, pull the feet under first. Nice and steady. The light headed, big breaths, slowly come up. There is no rush. Okay, well done, guys. Oh, nearly, yeah, it's a good little Christmas work now, this one. And don't worry, we are doing this time on the Zoom, twice a week, all the way through, whilst we are shut down. And we're recording it, so you can grab this at any time. So, ready to go again? Yes, we are. We have 15 seconds to go. We're likely going to move, build that, get that blood pumping again. Just light your jump on the spot for the next few seconds. We're going into those reverse lunges. Alternate for two minutes or single for one minute aside. Two, one, let's go. I'm going back into that single. I felt that lunge a lot more difficult when I did single leg and the switch. So I'm going to put myself through it again. Again, basic, step back, step forward. With or without weight, down to you. More advanced is either with the push or with a high knee. Very advanced, with balance, is that knee through. Twenty seconds.
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're doing alternate legs, keep going. If you're doing single leg, switch, basic. Go to advance when you're ready. It's the knee or the push. Keep everything in line. Thirty seconds. Remember, third time round, you will not be touching these again. The deeper you go, the harder it will be. Fifteen seconds. Whew. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, triceps. Go, one minute. Throw it all the way. Nice and tall still. Do not lean back or forward. Elbows in set position. Throw it up. Chin up. Big breaths. Now, if you've got the weights together, Try and separate them. Your one arm will be stronger than the other. And when you have them together all just one weight, the stronger one always drags along the weaker one. And we don't want that. We want that weak one to catch up. Fifteen seconds, come on, now push them through. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. On that mat, those crunches, one minute, go. You should be rushing there. Don't fart around. I think it needs to be done to short crunches. Pushing that up. So the feet down, no weight facing. Hands up. Or with weights, always weight towards the You have 30 seconds to go. Keep going. Remember, face it. Or advance with weights. Or very advanced. 15 to go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hand to foot with suitcase work. Thirty seconds. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flip over into your push ups to finish this, then we're going to cool down. Okay, so for the push up, you can either roll the mat and have something underneath the knees. You just fold the mat under the knees. You can go here, get a bit more length. So your bum's coming further forward, chest is over the pants, and you're going to bend the elbow, push up into it. Now, look at where the hips are. You can uh, stick the butt back and you see where my back is sloped. I want my back, I want my back flat. So you're gonna crunch in that core and you're gonna push up. If you're already going for all the push-ups, well done. Keep moving. If push-ups are new to you, then this is where you start. You can either go halfway down and back up and you're gonna slowly build up that range of motion. If you're advanced, you can go onto the toes. Again, look where the hips are placed. Make sure the back, that, that back is nice and flat. Down, drive up. Down, drive up. Wherever you are, you're going to keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We are nearly there to the cool down stage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You're done. Well done. Charles pose. Push away. Big breaths. 
big, big breaths. Hands down, pushing through the lats. Congratulations, well done. So from here, you're then going to place those hands to the left or to the right, over to one side, keeping that child's pose. Heels towards the knee, heels towards the bum, pushing down. So you really get that stretch to the side of the body. Hands over to the other side, pushing down. Back to centre. If there's a chill out playlist you would like to have as well, email me. I'll, I'll tell you my email address at the end. But it's all about the music. That's what gets us through this. You're going to bring one foot through, big step, forward lunge. So, one leg is behind, one leg is in front. That knee is not going to go over that foot. It is bring the foot further forward. In a nice long straight line, push forward. You'll feel it in the hip flexor. So that is this muscle group right on the top. Push forward. Want to feel this a bit more? Reach up, go backwards. So you've got to lean back. What they were trying to do is lengthen that muscle. Releasing that lactic acid. I always say if you have more time, you repeat the move. The first of like the warm-up, the brain is telling the body that we need to release certain chemicals to make it protect the joints and protect the muscles. When we're doing cool down, it's completely the opposite. We're telling getting the brain to tell the muscles to shut off. The more we can get the tongue to shut off, the more lactic acid release, the more the blood can get in there and clean them through. The less you're going to be sore tomorrow. So definitely always repeat. I don't have time now, but you're going to stop, you're going to come out of the move, then go back into it. Do that two, three times over with deep breathing technique. For now, we're just going to switch legs, go into the other leg, push forward, reach up tall. Again, feel that stretch through the hip flexor. There we go, up to standing, nice and tall. Tricep stretch. One arm over. If you need to put on more layers because you're getting cold, put on more layers. Gap between the chin and the chest. Hand on that elbow. Hand down the back. Pulling up, over, getting the stretch through this tricep. And switch. Switching arms again, one hand over, thumb in the air. You're going to pull it in. Now you're going to rotate the thumb round. I don't know how much you can see on the screen, but the thumb is going to come round from top, round to bottom. You're going to feel the rotation in that shoulder. Just going to release the shoulder, make the stretch a lot more beneficial. Just bringing your arm across the body, it doesn't always do a lot. When you bring the thumb, rotate the thumb into it, it does, you'll feel it. Switch the arms, thumb up in the air, rotate round. Perfect, well done. T-shape of the feet. Shoulders square to the, to the front. You're going over. If you're a regular yogi, these are warrior positions. If you're not a regular yogi, you're going to take a big step out. You're going to lunge over into that. Make sure that knee does not go too much further than that foot. Keeping your hips square, shoulders square, over. Do not fold into it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't advance you anymore. Length, stretching the back. It's not going to happen. If you want to advance it a little more, you can place get your hands out, pulling them over, down, pushing that knee back, looking forward or looking up towards that hand. Feel that stretch through the side. So you're doing inner thigh, through the side, and up. Back to center. You can always hold these for a little longer than I'm instructed. I'm on a time limit. If you have more time, do them again. Do the world of good. Turn the feet over. Again, over you go. 
In stage one, square hips, square shoulders, and placing one hand down, other arm up, looking up towards that hand. Really feel that deep stretch, deep breathing. Again, if you need to repeat the moves to get deeper, do so, I encourage you. Okay, center, hands out front, drop the head, push away. We're trying to open up the shoulder blades. Keep the hands together, up towards the top, twisting side to side. Hands go behind in the back, pushing the arms down, pull the shoulders back, open up the chest. To finish this today, five deep squats with breathing. Here we go, down inhale, lift up, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, good job. Round of applause, good work, guys. Well, from me to you, happy Christmas. Have a fantastic uh, time over the festive uh, period. I will be back just after Christmas, back on Zoom again. If you have any questions at all, email me. So it's kstevens at holmgren.org. You can send through requests for music if you want it during these Zoom classes. The playlist I have in class, I will send you no problem at all. Chill out, produce cool down, techno, trance, disco, you name the genre, I will have playlists ready to go. So let me know what motivates you. This is a great time to do it. It means you can put your music over my structure. I think I'll use it on the Zoom to interrupt too much. But please have a wonderful time over the Christmas period. Be safe, be happy, eat lots, drink lots, be merry. Signing off. Lots of love. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. All the best. Merry Thank you. Have a good one. You too, bud.